hello guys what is going on my name is dennis welcome to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to design this birthday jota with corel draw x7 and we start right now subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video so these are the pictures i'll be using for this tutorial and i'm going to select all and copy them to corel draw before then i have to set my page like click on new document and you see this dialog box that pops up and i'll set my size to a4 cause east and a4 jota sorry a5 jota so i have to set the size to a4 so i can divide it into to a5 that is front and back so i'm going to set my size to a4 and i'm going to leave my primary color mode to cmyk since it's going to be for print and i'm going to set every other thing is okay for the meantime okay i'll click on okay and my workspace is ready so i'm going to change this i'm going to change this to landscape as you can see then double click on rectangle to and you see this shape that comes up here and i'm going to click here at the edge and take it to the center just like this see when you see that notification that is written the center you know you are on the center of the page then you right click before you leave right clicking before you leave means you have been able to duplicate this so i now have a5 here while this one still remain a4 so i have to drag this other edge to this center to make it to a5 just like this i have simply divide the a4 into 2a5 so the next thing i'm going to do is to import my pictures into this so i'm going to click on the folder where i save all my pictures and copy all to corel draw just like this okay and i've already taken the background of my main picture the picture i'll be using for the front of the jet i've already taken the background while every other picture still remain with their background so I'm going to work on the front of the Jota. Remember I told you guys the last video I made that the front of your Jota should always be at the right while the back should always be at the left. So I'm going to take this picture to the right side of the shape which is this other shape. Simply power clip the picture inside the shape just like this. Or if you cannot use that method you simply right click on the picture and you see power clip inside then take the arrow to the shape where you want to power clip and click then your picture then your picture has been power clipped automatically and i'm going to resize my picture and place it very well where i want it to be placed just like this okay you can see i've been able to place my picture very well the way i want it to be and it seems as if the picture is bent towards one side so i'm going to resize i'm going to adjust the it seems as if the picture is bent to one side so i'm going to rotate the image a little click on the image then you get these round curves like this and i'll hold here and rotate a little and you can see it's very okay now the way you place your pictures in a design matters a lot i'm going to make a special video on how to place pictures and what to consider before placing the pictures in a design but for now i have to place her to the right because she's facing the left so i have to place her to the right you don't want your pictures to face outside the design instead let the pictures face inside the design just like this so i'm going to add the color to my background before then i have to take off my outline by right clicking on this empty space here or here so i'm going to right click on any of them and you can see it's okay then i'm going to use my color eye drop to to pick this color on a hair tie just like this i'm going to select a random color like this okay i think i'm okay with this one then i'll fill it on my background you can see it's very okay and i am going to duplicate this picture now remember the picture is inside the power clip so before you'll be able to select this picture you have to select the picture inside the power clip by pressing alternate on your keyboard you can simply 
click on the picture and select it from the outside of the power clip but if you don't want to select it this way you can simply open the power clip then do your necessary editing so i'm going to open my power clip by clicking on the shape then you see these options down here where you can see edit power clip so i'm going to click on edit power clip then i'll select my picture and click and drag then right click before you leave then i'm going to click on mirror horizontally to mirror the picture this way then bring it to this place you can enlarge it a little than this then i'll press ctrl page down to send it to the back then i'm going to click on transparency tool then click on merge mode then select overlay you can see the picture has disappeared but i'm going to close after closing my power clip you see the picture will come up again that is to say overlay works with deep colors so i'm going to close my power clip then you can see the picture has appeared the picture automatically picks the color on the background then i'm going to edit the picture because it looks too sharp and it's too uh, heavy here so i'm going to select the picture by pressing alternate i'll be able to select the picture then i'll click on transparency tool and click on uniform transparency and you can see the picture has been lightened a little the transparency of the picture has been lightened and the picture has blended with the background a little then you can adjust your transparency just like this you don't want the picture to be too visible it's okay like this i feel it's okay like this fine okay and i'll go on to give this picture its name and every other stuff so i'm going to click on uh, rectangle tool then you create this shape just like this here feel that okay then i'm going to bring this shape down here okay okay i think this is okay then i'm going to give this shape uh, white color and i will right click it to take off the outline then click on um, interactive view tool and fill it with this deep yellow you can see deep yellow then fill it with deep yellow and adjust the view like this okay i think i'm okay with this then click on the shape press shift on your keyboard and enlarge the shape a little right click before you leave you can see i've been able to duplicate the shape i have two shapes now let me show you click on this x here here to take off the color the few color inside the shape then right click on white to get this white outline here so i'm going to change this to one point now i've been able to change the hairline to one point you can see it's perfect like this so the next thing i'm going to do is to type this name here using my text tool i've been able to type this name with my text tool okay i'm going to change my typeface to petras just click here and type okay here is petras then i'm going to enlarge it and bring it here then i'm going to give it this color we used on the background before just like this one here and i'm going to fill it with black a little black so click on interactive view tool and press shift then drag it down here like this and give it black just like this i feel that's okay then i'm going to type another name here i'm going to give this gisha okay then make it bold and enlarge it just like this and i'll duplicate this and select then type mommy okay then i feel i can give this red color and this okay select all and press c to centralize everything here i can adjust this again select all and press c all right this is nice like this okay then i'm going to type in the date of the birthday down here like this and set this here 
and give it white color with my to see and I'm going to type October 30th okay I'm going to give it a geisha geisha and I'll make it bold and give it this color again then reduce it to 12 points and place it here you can adjust the shape to fit select everything and press it to centralize you can see we are beginning to arrive at a very nice jetter then the next thing I'm going to tap here is happy birthday okay and i'm going to use this type first south gardens personal use okay yeah south gardens is what i'm going to use press ctrl k to break the text apart then give this one white and give this one this deep yellow you can see it's very nice then you can adjust the tracking like this and select the happy birthday and enlarge it just like this all right you can see it's very cool like this uh, i think i should take this off a little all right it's very okay so for now the front is done then i'm going to uh, design the back press ctrl give this white color and press ctrl click on the yellow till you get just click on the yellow two times to get this uh, milky this um kind of a uh, chop uh, yellow like this pale yellow yeah pale yellow like this then i'm going to take copy this picture we used here ctrl c copy and paste then i've been able to take out the picture then i want to power clip it here also and transparent it again just like this for the back then i'll click on my transparency to click on uniform transparency then adjust my transparency just like this till it fits into the background then i'm going to create these shapes like this you know this jota design is very simple jota design you know most times a client will just jump in and say please i need this design very fast i need it to design a birthday jota for me very fast and you lack ideas but this tutorial will help you to do that very fast in few minutes just as you can see okay then i'm going to create a shape to cover up all this like this okay i can drag the shape to this here and drag this one down here then give it this color control page down to send it to the back then i'm going to select all these and group them then select all press c and e to make sure everything aligns very well then you can give all this white color for the main time and the shapes i'm going to power clip all these pictures into it like this power clip inside power clip inside power clip inside and power clip inside then you can see it going very well Okay, I'm adjusting the pictures so it fits very well into the shape. Okay, so now I can decide to write my birthday wish here. Like I'm going to write my birthday wish here. You can simply create any birthday wish 
and put here but i'll just put my payday wish here as the heading and i'll give it this color then you can type in your birthday wish here and the jota is done then if you have any cut see it can come down here or you have an imprint to show the person that did this job you can put it here or here and for now i think this is the final look of this design so this was a very simple birthday jota design with corel draw x7 and i have lots of videos for you guys thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video